friends, this is just a quick video to show you how to make sourdough discard crackers. Mine ended up not turning out exactly right, but that's okay because they still tasted amazing. And even if you can't score these, cut them exactly like you want to, you can still break them up into pieces and they're a perfect little snack. I just leave them out on the counter as we're going throughout our day. And by the end of the day, they're pretty well gone. So you just take your sourdough discard from feeding your sourdough starter and you add whatever spices that you want into the sourdough discard. This is separate from the starter amount that you're gonna keep to feed. Don't use all of your sourdough starter, just use um, the portion that you are discarding. So you'll mix in your seasonings. You could make these spicy, you can make them sweet, you could make them savory. Whatever flavor you want, you just add those spices in. I did garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, some dill seasoning, salt and pepper. I think that was it. There may have been more. And then we had some Asiago cheese from the grocery store that I got super cheap. It was marked down on sale because it was just about to go out of date. So what I did was grated this. I kept two blocks in my freezer um, and we add this to the sourdough discard. This recipe is super easy, super forgiving. Um, sometimes you may want to add some butter or oil. You can also add whatever other ingredients you want to the discard crackers. Because of our budget and because of the fact that we try to follow a Levitical diet, we do not buy a lot of processed foods. So I try to make as many things as I can from scratch. If you have fresh herbs on hand, I would definitely recommend that over packaged herbs because they just have so much more flavor. I had some rosemary, so I'm just chopping it up with my fingers and it makes my house smell good and it makes these crackers taste delicious. Now we're just gonna take the mixture and we're gonna spread it as evenly and as thinly as we can onto a baking sheet with some parchment paper. As you can see, that was a little hard to do with my spatula. So I grabbed out my scraper and this was much easier to spread it more evenly and get it um, nice and thin on my parchment paper. That's so satisfying. <laughs> to be quite as particular as I am <laughs> but just try to get it as even as you can and as thin as you can so that it will bake evenly and you'll see why in just a few minutes <music> My kids always come running into the kitchen and they're like, what are you fixing, mom? Because it smells so good with the sourdough, fermenty, tea, sour smell, and then the cheese and the spices. They're just so simple and so delicious. And I highly encourage you to not waste your sourdough discard and use it to make some crackers soon for your kids. And they'll thank you. You will thank you. I bake these on about 350, anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes it totally just depends you can see these you can see the areas where it was thinner and so they got a little bit more done but my kids we all like the crunchy bits we like the parts that get a little bit more done and I actually fixed these again a few days later um, and I forgot that I had set my oven for such a high temperature in order to fix my sourdough bread and so I baked them at 500 and I set my timer for five minutes. My timer went off. I was upstairs sewing and didn't hear it. And so the crackers were pretty well burnt, but I'm telling you what, we still ate every single bit of it because it's just that good. <laughs> 
You can see that the inside of this one where it's lighter yellow, they are definitely more chewy. Uh, so totally depends on how you like your crackers, what you're gonna use them for. Bake them less, bake them longer, whatever spices, but just make them. They really are that good and we hope that your family will enjoy them too. So I'm gonna leave you with this. John 6, 33 through 35 says, For the bread of Yah is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. And then Yahushua declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Shalom from our home to yours.